Yo guys, what is up? GB2K here. And today's topic is Trey Lance. And before we get into it, please make sure to subscribe and like all my videos on this channel. And here's what I think of Trey Lance. Let's get into it. So guys, Trey Lance had his pro day a couple weeks ago. And the first thing that I noticed about him was that the guy is built. Like, he is crazy strong, crazy athletic. But also, what comes with that is he's kind of raw. He had a little bit inexperienced because he's only started, like, 15 games in his entire college career or something like that. And his unofficial 40-yard time is 4 or 4 or 5. And I know that's pretty good for a quarterback, but some of you guys may say Justin Fields got a 4 4 4. But Trey Lance is a very powerful runner. I think... Justin Fields just has like that pop it, pocket and the rollout mobility. I think Trey Lance has the materials to be a full out running quarterback in the NFL. And the first thing I think when I see him is a smaller, faster Cam Newton. Because Cam Newton, he had a very big arm. He was very good at running and he is very powerful. And I see all that stuff in Trey Lance. He is very talented. I think he is very athletic. That's one of his biggest strengths to me, I think. But I think he could really use a year as being a backup. Like Patrick Mahomes, he really benefited. Aaron Rodgers, I, that's all I can think of at the top of my head. But a lot of quarterbacks that they sit for a couple years, they end up being really good because they get that learning opportunity and they aren't just thrown right into the fire. And I think the best fit for him would be the Atlanta Falcons because he has everything that he needs besides accuracy. And Matt Ryan is one of the most accurate passers in the league for like the past 15 years. And I think he could really learn a lot and he could be the Atlanta Falcons starting quarterback for the next 10, 15 years. He could be a very good quarterback if he was able to be on that system. But now with some of his flaws, I think He's a little bit inexperienced, as I've said before. Um, like, he didn't, it's not enough games for comfort for me. Like, maybe one more year and I feel a lot better about that. And he's not a very safe pick. Like, he's not gonna be able to start day one for you. So if you're the 49ers and you want a quarterback, well, not the 49ers, the Panthers, I guess. But the Panthers just need a quarterback, so I think they'll take whatever they need. But he isn't going to be the best day one starting quarterback for you. I think Mac Jones has already solidified that role. And he's just an amazing player. But Trey Lance, he's a little bit inaccurate sometimes. And I think 49ers, Jimmy Garoppolo, Atlanta Falcons, uh, Matt Ryan, he could help a lot. And another thing in college is that he had, his competition level is a little bit iffy. Because, like... He can just tear up those defenses because we saw a totally different Carson Wentz in college football than we did in the NFL. And Carson Wentz was a lot more hyped than the Trey Lance was. But Trey Lance, he looked very amazing in his pro day. I think the 49ers traded up before because they saw his pro day and thought he was amazing. But I think now that the 49ers saw Mac Jones' pro day, I think they're going to go with that. But what I ultimately think about Trey Lance is that he's a very high potential player that could use a year of learning. And that's pretty much it for now. I'm gonna wrap it up in the final words. So guys, that's pretty much it for today. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. And if you have any ideas for any further videos, please leave it down in the comments below. And that's pretty much it. See you next time.